Hello, my name is John Hausman. I'm a pediatric and adult rheumatologist at Boston Children's Hospital and Beth Israel Deaconess Medical Center. I want to talk to you about a trend that I've been seeing over the last few days here at uh, ACR 2019, uh, and that is the description of a new inflammatory lung disease. And that disease is called systemic juvenile idiopathic arthritis associated ILD, or SJIA ILD. This uh, disease was uh, both featured in the year in, in the pediatric year in review, and it has been featured in multiple sessions and multiple abstracts. And I just want to tell you a little bit about it. So uh, Dr. Grant Schulert and his team at Cincinnati Children's have described 22 patients with this new inflammatory lung disease. Um, and these are 22 patients that they've seen uh, since 2010. Uh, all the patients had diffuse ground glass opacities, subpleural reticulations, peribronchovascular and or septal thickening, and lymphadenopathy. The pathology in the lungs of these children included lymphoplasmacytic infiltrates and features of pulmonary alveolar proteinosis. They tried comparing what makes a patient more susceptible to uh, SJIA ILD as compared to patients that don't develop ILD and this is what they found. Those that develop ILD were younger at disease onset so when they were diagnosed with SJIA they were younger. They, uh, most of them had prior episodes of macrophage activation syndrome and most of them had had adverse reactions to biologics. They also had higher IL-18 levels. And why these, this uh, entity matters is that prognosis for patients that develop SJIA-related interstitial lung disease is really, really poor. Many, many of these patients died as they were followed in this cohort. So this is a newly uh, identified disorder that is seen in patients with systemic JIA. It seems to become, it seems uh, that it's becoming uh, increasingly recognized, um, or at least there's an increased frequency. We're still not sure whether our treatments with biologics uh, may be causing it, or is it just that these patients are living longer and better because of the biologics. So stay tuned uh, for more information about this condition. Uh, if you want to learn more, go to roomnow.com.